Today's Phil's last day. He's our summer help. Uh, he's got to go back to school and teach the children, so we're going to send him off proper with some uh, some pulled pork and some baby back ribs. Now, this is just some stuff we picked up at the local grocer. Uh, like I say, we're not professional barbecuers or professional anything for that matter. Uh, the pork butt, pretty simple. Uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and then we use some AP seasoning from our man Malcolm over at How to Barbecue, right? One of my favorite barbecue channels. Be sure to check it out. Super popular fun guy makes some awesome looking stuff uh, so we just take the salt pepper push it on rub it around and that's pretty much it sprinkle the AP on there and then I like to throw it on the uh, Barbie here fat side down I did trim about a pound of fat off this sucker before I brought it in so I didn't fiddle with it much at work and that's pretty well it let her get up to about 160 and then I'll pull it off and we'll wrap it up with some foil and then I let it go until it's buttery smooth so when we stick the probe in it it just feels like you're sticking it into nothing really and then I take it out let it rest tear it apart and then just get after it so ribs uh, kind of the same thing you'll poke around on the YouTube you just peel the membrane off them uh, you can smear them up with uh, uh, mustard if you'd like you know for a binder and then again just salt pepper or the AP seasoning uh, I'm going to use a bit of the killer hogs barbecue uh, rub on there it looks super over overpowering because it's so red from all the I think probably smoked paprika in there I imagine uh, but it's really really good it's sugary it's sweet and then right as soon as these ribs are just about done we'll pull them and uh, do some sweet and sticky on there just some some plain old uh, you know barbecue sauce whatever your choice is throw them back on let them finish give them a little spritz here and there with some apple cider vinegar and that's about it folks the pit barrel takes care of itself so I do tend to get a little sidetracked here at work lose track of time and I do want to pull that pork shoulder out of there at about 160 so I'm gonna put a thermometer in here so I don't forget and ruin everything we're just gonna set the alarm on here we'll get this all set up so one bit of advice I can give you if you do have a pit barrel and you do elect to use the thermometer is just run it through one of the holes for the rebar because if you run it up over the lid believe it or not just leaving it open that extra little crack that uh, really screws with the temperature of this thing so I just run them through these holes and then I don't have to worry about it. I've got two probes. This one I just leave kind of dangling for the, uh, the pit temperature, just the internal temperature of the barrel here, which really doesn't matter because you can't change it. So, and then the other probe here, we're just going in the middle of this pork shoulder. Give us a rough idea. That way you don't have to keep coming out and checking it. Because remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. I will just stick it down here on the bucket. Bottom one's gonna be our pit temp. The other one is for the uh, pork shoulder. And we've got this little wireless device. Also, we'll make sure that it hooks up. It's been a little over an hour, so I'll make sure. Got some good rib action here. Oh man, they're looking yummy. It is time to see how we're looking. We're three hours in. Ish. Smells wonderful. Let's just have a look, see if we're getting any pullback on them bones yet. A little bit right there. Looking nice and moist. Spritzing them down with the apple cider vinegar. And then we wait. That 
torque shoulder. I don't know if you guys can see it. She's running about 136, so that's got quite a ways to go. Should be done before we go home, though. We are at the four hour mark. Looking pretty delish. Get pretty flimsy here. Get some pullback. Gotta be careful because they will start to fall apart. We like them sweet and sticky. Today's flavor of the day is the Jack Stack Barbecue. It's the OG. I uh, never had it before. Hopefully it's good. Got it on the tire piles. We're gonna slather them up with this little fella and put them right back on and let them finish off here. A little too much there, fella. We're ready folks, 4.5 hours in. We spent the last 15 minutes putting a little barbecue sauce on them. They look like they're ready. The cooking time always varies. Oops, oh, we almost lost that one in the coals, dude. That one fell apart. That would have stunk, huh? Here we go. We'll take them in, give it the cut, and the official taste test. You ready, Miss Zoe? Uh huh. Do they look pretty amazing? Yeah. The one we almost lost it. Just pulling, oh. it, pulling it out, and it fell. Ooh. That would have stunk, huh? That would have been terrible. The pork shoulder is probably going to be done just about the time we go home. We got your Malcolm How to Barbecue Right Knife, not a sponsor. We're going to take, hopefully, they're not overdone. Up. Sounds like Sheba's trying to get through the door over there. She wants some ribs? I'm thinking so. Sheba! Alright, so that's as far as I can go. Let's see. Ooh. She juicy? Oh, they, got, they got some juice to them. Do you want to do the official taste test? Because uh, I'm not sure how good I'm going to be able to eat ribs with my braces. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. I know. It's going to be hot though. Better pull it out. Oh man, they're falling apart on me here. So this is how tender they are, folks. When you can do that. Oh, no meat on that one. Yeah, I know. Nobody wants that one. Everybody wants that one with the meat on right, it. You're gonna give us the official taste test? <laughs> huh? I'll taste it. Alright, I'll hold the camera. Hold on. Oh man, I'm just tearing these things apart. They look amazing. Even the cat wants some. I do not do one of those, Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all the animals are here. You want to taste test it? Huh? What do you think, Wolf? Huh? You want some? You. Yeah, you do. <laughs> all right, we're ready for the official oh. taste test. Can you call how good it is? No, but this is what people do when they make ribs. Mmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Is it mm -hmm. pretty yummy? Mm hmm. Let's then we show the bite. Oh yeah. Classic. Oh, that's so good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we have to end this video then. Mm -hmm. You want to test it? Is it good? What is it, Sheba? Huh? Is it is good? Is it good? Do it some more? Yeah. The kitty does. Let's see, kitty. Here you go, kitty, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, Mona. Here you go, Wolf. Here. Luna doesn't want it. So that's it, folks. We're going to wait for the pork shoulder to get done. I'll show you that. It's going to be towards the end of the day. I've got new braces in my mouth, so I'm going to try to eat some ribs. We'll see what happens. At least they'll taste good. I'm sure they'll still taste good. <laughs> Stick around. Oh, my gosh. Lunch was so delish. 
This little guy's at 160. So we're gonna take and pull our thermometer out there. It's a little bit warm. We'll get these pulled out. I'll get some tin foil. We'll get this thing uh, wrapped up. Let it finish. And at this point, we don't really need to monitor the temperature. What I like to do is uh, just take it, like I say, till it's buttery smooth. We'll poke it with the probe, and, and then that's it. So let me, uh, let me go get some stuff. Skin that's stuck. Oh. All right, is it yummy? The skin? It should be pretty salty. Super salty. <laughs> it will be. Um, let's see here, folks. We're gonna take. We're gonna wrap this little fella up in some of the foil. We'll put some more on it. Get a little more foil there, Miss Zoe. I keep cooking them fat side down. Uh, I don't know if it's proper or not, but that's how we do it. I did trim a lot of fat off this thing. So you probably want to bear them. Yeah, well, that's right. We'll use it. Woo! Dang it. Oh, it's hot, boy. There we go. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could just finish it off in your oven. So we got the pit barrel burning, so we're just gonna finish in that. Usually ends up around 200 degrees or so, but like I say, when we probe it, that's gonna be the telltale sign. So we'll go throw this thing back in there. Six and a half hours in, folks. Let's just see how it's feeling. Oh, that's pretty smooth. And it's only uh, 190 degrees there. Uh, a little stiff on that side still, but over here. Boy, that's feeling, that's feeling pretty good. This might only be another hour. That there is no resistance whatsoever. That side's 197. A little stiff right there. That's 200 degrees right on the money on that one. Uh, we'll come back in about an hour. Check it. That'll be at the seven, seven and a half hour mark. We'll see how it is, but so far so good, fellas. I think this has gotta be it, folks. Oh man, nothing there. Oh yeah, just the weight of the probe itself just falls through it. Well, a little stiff right there. Oh, I say overall, she's good to go. Hit the bone right there. Boy, that feels pretty good, baby. Temperature's 204. There's a couple spots that are a little bit stiff, but I'm not gonna just cook the snot out of it. I'm gonna pull it off, and let it rest for an hour or so. We're getting towards the end of the day, and then uh, we'll be back to shred it up. And just like that, we're home, folks. So the pork butt, or shoulder, rather, we took out, or both, pork butt, shoulder, same thing, I guess. Uh, we took it out. It's been resting for hours at this point because we're home now, and we're going to have pulled pork sandwiches for dinner. We had ribs for lunch. We'll be 200 pounds tomorrow. Oh, yep. Wait. I already am. I guess I'll be 200 pounds tomorrow. <laughs> Well, it certainly doesn't help with any type of diet. So we do it in this bowl so that all the juices and everything. Of course, you can be conscientious of which way you wrap up the foil. If you're going to open this up, you don't want to make a huge mess. So we'll set that to the side. And we have, oh, baby. We've got to get the bone out. So if it's cooked well, you don't have a problem getting the bone out. It's still very, very hot. There's your scapula. And then at this point, Mrs. O wants to try something. This is fully experimental. 
you can take and just shred it with some forks or shred it with your hand. Uh, it comes apart very easily. However, uh, not too long ago we did a chicken and she had to have some pulled chicken. She used the mixer and it just shredded it like crazy. So what we're hoping to have is little bits and pieces like so. Of course you got some good bark on here, which is the good stuff, which is what I want. That's super amazing. A little hot. See if it shreds this though. With the mixer. Life hack. You want to lick them? No, I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you. You don't want to lick them? Nope. So short story, fun fact, when my brother was just a little kid, he was uh, going to lick the frosting off those things. And then he turned it on. And it was pretty catastrophic to his tongue. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. So anyhow, so there it is. There's your pulled pork ready to go, ready for the sandwiches. Probably slightly overcooked, but it looks great. So let's uh, put together a sandwich and see how it tastes. You're gonna have to trust me, folks. This stuff tastes wicked awesome. Come here, Weston. Come here. What's on your back, buddy? What is this? Ah, uh, it's butter. Uh, get another dog. How'd you get butter on your back, buddy? Oh, if you could only reach it. You want a little snacky? Sit down. Be very gentle, Weston. Be a good boy. Oh, that's a pretty big gentle. There you go. Yes. You want some more? No, it's for Sheba. Sheba, sit. One or two. Oh, two, please. Sit down. Oh boy, Butler, you're in a bad area. Sit down, Sheba. Come on. Do you want some, Pearl? No, Weston. This is for Pearl. There you go, Pearl. Here you go. Oh, hey, Kitty wants some. Come here, Butler. Hi, Kitty. You want a little snacky? There you go. You better get it, or Pearl's gonna get it. There you go, Pearl. You just get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snooze you lose, cat. So what we got going on here, Miss So? We got some spicy pickles. It's Not the good kind, those sweet heat ones. Those are amazing. These are from Hot Barbecue, spicy, right? Yes, spicy mm. garlic. Mm. So yeah, so we did have some pickles from Hot Barbecue, right? My guy Malcolm, check them out. Those things were amazing. They were. They were really, really good. They were really good on these sandwiches. Yeah, fantastic. So we got some pickled, pickled onions. The classic red pickled onions. Mm -hmm. And then where you got my goat, you go in Kansas City style barbecue sauce on this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit of spice. Put that on the top. You want some bark in your sandwich? Yes, please. It's not as salty as I thought it was going to be. Well, it's a lot thicker. Gotta disperse. It's so yummy. And then we'll eat that for like the rest of the week. <laughs> yeah, we will. Or a week or two. Mm -hmm. Your dogs are super hungry. They're always super hungry. The cat's super hungry. <laughs> You're super hungry, huh, fat bro? And none of them look very hungry. What? Are you hungry? Huh? Who's hungry? Oh, bro's hungry. This guy, he's always hungry. You hungry? Yeah, he's hungry. He even knows the word. Oh. All right, let's see. Are we ready to taste them? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm ready for the official taste test. I don't do taste oh. tests because I have braces. <laughs> Everything sticks in my teeth. Even if it's bad, you got It sticks to my teeth. You gotta go. <gasps> it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. You gotta get the cross section of the bite. I don't know why, but this is just what they do. Not a big food video guy. Mm -hmm. All right, it's time for me to eat. Mm -hmm. So that's it, folks. That's uh, using the pit barrel cooker. Pretty simple apparatus. Not a, you know, Fancy not a lot of, Nancy. yeah, not a lot of fussing really. You just light it and forget about it. 
and then don't go out and peek a whole bunch because that's the only thing that really makes it run pretty hot is if you keep taking the lid off but otherwise if you put a thermometer and it runs about 250 270 somewhere in there and it's not technically a smoker so it's a cooker but it does a pretty dang good job of the ribs and the uh, pork butt and chicken and we've cooked everything in it even made a apple uh, with that cobbler? apple cobbler in it one time mm -hmm. and that was great and have done all kinds of stuff anything you can cook in the oven basically you can you can barbecue on it so that's that I'm gonna eat some lunch the comment section you guys know what to do and uh, that's it folks we'll uh, see you around